Well, it's a big toolbox. I tried to do a video on the toolbox here. I don't know if I have enough space in the room. So this is a Husky. I think it was a... Let's see what the box says. I can't remember what it is. Sixty-one by eighteen by sixty-five and a half inch uh, toolbox. Ten cabinets, one drawer door chest. There's a top and bottom that came with this thing. Anyway, when I'm moving my uh, work area here, I decided that uh, I have too many tools for one toolbox, so I left one toolbox behind and brought most of my tools here to an undisclosed location, which we'll not reveal. So anyway show you uh, how I've got this toolbox set up. You'd think that it would be big enough, but it's not. And it's minus 10 degrees out, and these uh, shock absorbers don't really want to work. But we'll get there. Hopefully they'll rip them apart. So, got some of my more expensive tools sitting up here at the top. Quite a bit in Milwaukee these days. I used to have, uh, I can't remember the name of them anymore. Makita, some of their stuff, and the batteries fried on them. I think they're like 14 four volts or something. I moved on, so uh, Milwaukee corded stuff is good. So that's sort of how I figured out using the top. This is a good funnel for using, so you don't spill antifreeze all over the place. It's got a plug in it, so uh, when you're burping the system, inevitably some coolant comes back up, and uh, this resolves any losses. Milwaukee blade. These are garbage. I think you all know that. Never use a blade that comes with a device. That's just for eating nails. I'll use that one day when I don't want to use a Diablo blade against nails. So I got a, a, a drill doctor. I tried using this thing once. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. If I'm desperate enough, I'll probably try and use it again. Some batteries. This thing has got a little USB charger. I don't know if it's a 1 amp or 2 amp. Then uh, a cord here so I can plug in uh, the drill doctor and the battery charger. So, trying to figure out how to use these drawers to fit all of my stuff in here was kind of tricky. I'm not exactly happy with it. I could have used one or two more drawers, but we'll go through it. This is supposed to be the measuring department and the electrical department, but it's a freaking disaster. So this is uh, the worst of it, I think. So uh, anyway, that's one drawer in here. Pliers, lots of pliers. Not enough pliers. I got some more pliers at the post office. I gotta go pick up. Good start. My uh, more Milwaukee stuff in here. I got a three-quarter inch impact gun and a uh, quarter inch impact gun. Probably could have used a little bit bigger. Looks like my battery's gonna die. Hopefully, you can get through this. Screwdrivers. Screwdriver's a pain. I got a magnet thing here on the end. Try to hold some more screwdrivers. Right, sockets, sir. Holy cow, I'm getting tired. All right, we got uh, ratcheting wrenches, not sockets. Regular wrenches. You always need two of each of these things, so it's a mess. Or not. Lots. So I got these at Canadian Tire. These are actually gear wrench wrenches that are sold by Canadian Tire, which is kind of cool. And I don't think there's any skips in the set. That's always a problem. Canadian Tire especially likes to skip the most important ratchet and socket set or wrench you need. So you go back there in desperation and go and buy the thing. These were on sale. I don't know if I'm going to use these too much or not. Always have trouble with uh, flare wrenches. Usually, because we're in Canada, you just chop them off and uh, start over again. Again, these are on sale; they're a couple of bucks, so why not? Might work one day. This is going to be my uh, hammer and chisel section. There's some stuff is missing. I got to figure out where it is. It's in a a bin somewhere. C clamps. Special tools. There's more special tools we'll get to later. Oh. Drilling and filing department. So uh, 
also some taps and dies and stuff and what have you. So it's fit quite a bit in here. A couple socket sets, not enough. So that's uh, I like Sun X. They have a good set here. It's uh, Imperial and Metric. It goes through a wide range of uh, on three eighths. Then there's a half inch. This guy skips a couple things. It's from Canadian Tire. That's why. Different stuff here. Big impact stuff. This is a gel, which is also I think the same as Genius. And I've had these for a really long time. I've been happy with them. So I don't know. I, I recommend them. I was surprised where I work. They have uh, Genius in the tool crib, which is kind of cool. And uh, square sockets for differentials. And I think more for plumbing. That's how they're marketed. And hex keys and whatnot. Getting into toolkits, I got pullers, compression testers, grinding wheels, a grinder. I think there's three grinders in there actually. There's a tap and die set, different stuff like that. All stuff that I've bought because I needed it. Everything in here I think is used at least once. And this is like the special tool department. So I've got all kinds of pitman arm pullers, timing light. Axle puller, axle bearing puller. Oh, what else is there? A fuel system uh, pressure gauges. A lot of the tools I got, they're OEM. And there's a Canadian tire where near where I work that is selling all the rental tools. And they're cheaper than the regular version of their tools that they sell without the packaging. So I always go in and buy these rather than uh, renting because they're not available. And then uh, what else we got here? A little heater. This is a big uh, C clamp for doing U joints on transport trucks and uh, stuff like that. I'm not gonna be able to pull it all out of here. But anyway, it seems that with my experience, anyway, doing my own work, you spend whatever money you would have spent on a garage on tools and mistakes, and if you're lucky, you break even. So anyway, the cool thing is you get lots of tools and you can work on stuff whenever you want. You're not forced to take time off from work and go to the garage and have questionable results from people you don't know when you can have questionable results from yourself. You can't blame anybody at that point, so that's better. Life is better. So anyway, that's uh, where I'm at with this toolbox. If Husky is good, I don't know. I don't really have any of their stuff other than this toolbox, so... Uh, I guess we'll find out. I think there's some frost going in front of this computer screen here. Hopefully not fogging you out. It's kind of chilly here. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at with uh, tools.